So in today's video, we are going to safely update the BIOS on the Honda B650 Plus White ITX motherboard. The steps shown here also applies to most Honda motherboards. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more PC and tech tutorials. Before starting, make sure you have checked these. A stable power source, a FAT32 formatted USB drive, a correct BIOS file, and disable secure boot in BIOS. Let's download the BIOS file. Head over to Anda's official website. If you see anything in Chinese, just click the translate button to switch to English. Now go to products, motherboard. From there, select your chipset model. In my case, that's AM5B650 and the motherboard is B650 Plus White ITX. Scroll down until you see the latest BIOS update. The specific update includes microcode for newer AM5 CPUs and improved graphics card compatibility. Click download. Once the download is finished, insert a clean USB stick formatted to FAT32. A clean drive is always recommended for smooth operation. Go to your downloads folder and open the compressed BIOS file. Inside, you'll find an EFI folder. Copy that entire folder to the root of your USB disk. Once that's done, Restart your computer and keep pressing the boot key, F11 in my case, to open the boot menu and select the USB disk. At first, the USB refused to boot because secure boot was enabled. To fix this, enter the BIOS setup, go to the security tab and disable secure boot. Save changes and exit. Now press the boot key again, choose the USB disk and this time your PC will boot directly into the BIOS update program. Don't press any keys, the update will start automatically. The process usually takes around 4 minutes. Important: Do not power off or disconnect your PC during this stage. If power is lost, your motherboard could become unusable. If this video helped you out, make sure to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned. Once the process is complete, unplug the USB disk and press Ctrl plus Alt plus Delete simultaneously to restart your PC. Your PC should post within a few minutes. If there's no activity, don't panic. Just power cycle your PC and it should display normally. Now re-enter the BIOS and you'll see the version has updated successfully. In my case from 3.0 to 4.0 with new microcode for AM5 CPUs. After updating, it's always recommended to load optimized defaults. Go to the Save and Exit tab. Choose Restore Defaults. On the next boot, you can also re-enable secure boot if needed. Save changes and restart the PC. And that's it. You've safely updated your Honda BIOS. And that's it. Don't forget to subscribe for more simple PC guides like this.